Hey there, Zonfire here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 1. So, uh, last time we got through the, uh, Exogeny slash Geth base. Well, they can handle one guess. Get angry. Oh, I hacked up. Oh, drop. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coups. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, John. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has, the Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah. No one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing. But if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. <sighs> I just want to kill him. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed, thank you. I was there anyway. It was the least I could do. Well, I appreciate it. Here, you've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander. Lots of data.
It's almost time, isn't it? I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What did you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. We might be able to adapt a concussion grenade to deploy it. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. Okay, let's go ahead and... The pulse rifle, so we'll jump over here and... Equip that to... The brawler. Now we have all the same gun. Ooh, Rel Extension 7s. Let's just go ahead and boost my damage output. <laughs> out there oh wait the reason I went in there was to equip the anti chlorine gas because I want to save the villagers, or the colonists. There we This is going as fast as me. Uh oh, husk. Contact. What was that creature? 
certainly wasn't human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Commander. Let's go. I'm working it, sweet. So far, I haven't killed a single uh, colonist, so... Hoping to find another uh, creative grenades. Okay, it's locked, so I'm probably going to have to go a different way. I don't think I'm in combat anymore, game. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. 
These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Now, where's the guy's body? Detail that was kind of missed. Over here. I mean, I would have equipped the space helmet at this point. Pure Paragon upgrades. Realistically, only like the handgun will probably have a potential upgrade. This may be problematic. This ha seems to have more related to fauna than flora. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground and the growth! I don't mind, Bertha. Definitely something different in this area. We've stunk. I'm sure of it. We need to find more of these things. Ooh. 
Engi. Decryption here. I didn't think you'd like that. Overall damage increase, so I'm not going to object to that. Get that assassinate again. Are they coming from behind us or above us? They're coming from above us, but. Okay, we don't have anything over there, but since we're going back into the...
but I did try to talk it down, so. Suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine. <laughs> Tala's just like it. I will be. In time. My name is Shiala. I serve. I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. 
Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> One that's become a horror game. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. Do you know what the conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. Then whatever it is, we cannot let him have it. You have the cipher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I'm grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. Mm -hmm. For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. I can't okay. believe it. Jong says we'll have all the money we need to keep this place running. It's because of you, Shepard. I can't thank you enough. I'm just that good. Thank you so much. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Okay. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. Okay, guys. I think we completed that. So, uh, 
screw you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Let me in! Let me in! Stand by, shore party. Decontamination yep. in progress. Decontamination. Just, I'm doing extra decontamination. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do oh yeah, definitely. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? Ashley could be rude. On Eden Especially whenever she's being nice. badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least, but something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch them through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave mines. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes specters have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. It's like, yeah, if... If uh, Zeus Hope was a Torian colony, I would have helped too. I mean, just because there was a war between the two races 20, uh, 40 years ago doesn't mean anything. I'm assuming that my shepherd is like 30. Okay, gotta go check on the girlfriend. You're not laying down. Where's you don't even have a bed in here. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. 
I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Nothing new? Okay. Goodbye, uh, I guess I've gotten as far as I can uh, currently with Ch uh, Liara. A little bit disappointing. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Hell of a deal you worked out with Jong, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. Oh, definitely. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Okay, so we got a little bit with Caden, but not much. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time. If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend. Who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. Which one of you made it first? It was a tie. I brought back his head. She got the rest of him. As far as I know, we both got paid. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I was going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. Keep on going. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days, I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. <laughs> At least for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? 
He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits, more credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles <laughs> don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismiss, okay. Chief. Sir. Fair enough. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. I still think CSEC has its flaws, but I understand why they do it now. I see the importance of being firm in the face of evil. Not letting it change who I am. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. And final ally to talk to is hey, Tom. I, I guess there's not. See you later. Okay, well, I'm gonna shop in between episodes and uh, then uh, we'll uh, carry on with our mission. Uh, it looks like we just have Vermeer next, unless <laughs> as I'm traveling around I uh, find something, uh, unless there's something else that pops up. I mean, we could do part of the DLC, the Asteroid X57, I think. But uh, either way, I'll figure that out in the next one. But uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.